I am here with Garrett Sasir, assistant coach for the Des Moines Buccaneers. Garrett, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and gearing up for the new season to sit down and talk about all things Buccaneers with me. First thing I want to ask is, how has the off season been going? Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's been a uh, pretty wild off season, actually. I have a couple camps this past summer, and uh, with my first year uh, being assistant coach here, it's been kind of a whirlwind for me transitioning from the playing side to the coaching side, but it's been a lot of fun to be able to meet the kids that have uh, are returning here for sure and definitely meet all the new faces and, and be able to put my stamp on them before we head into the, the, the full season here. That's awesome. And you mentioned you had a couple of camps so far this summer. How did those camps go and how do you think it's helping lead into the new season? Uh, I, they went really well, actually, better than I expected, which was a, a, a nice surprise for sure. And I think it got the kids motivated who are obviously returning to uh, make sure they're in good shape all throughout the summer. Then the kids who are uh, new here this year just help them to be able to uh, get their feet wet with around all the returning guys and the new coach and a couple new coaches here. So it was nice to uh, get them in town and so they could see everything that Des Moines has as well, too. Absolutely. And, you know, talking more about those players, having seen the little bit that you have so far this summer, are there any guys who have been standing out so far, or players in particular, returners, whether that be that you expect to make an impact? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say you want to see everybody, of course, but there's been a, a few guys that definitely caught my eye on the good side. And, and um, I'm just really excited to be able to work with all the forwards and defensemen and the returning goalie that we have, too which will be really nice. I mean, we have a, a great player coming in who just got drafted this past uh, July to the San Jose Sharks. His name is Joey Muldowney, a guy who uh, I'm excited to work with, just a, a, an awesome player, an awesome kid. So I could go down the list of, uh, of honestly everybody, but I'm just kind of excited to uh, be able to put my stamp on every kid that comes in and, and be able to help them in whatever way I can. Absolutely. And it's crazy to think that now uh, we're officially – under a month away from the beginning of the season starting. So in this time that's left before you guys head to Pittsburgh for that fall classic, what's kind of the plan moving forward and what you're going to be doing in this month leading up? Well, just for now, I guess it's a lot of scheduling organizing for me as an assistant coach, just trying to uh, get all the hotels and everything planned out that way, but then also practice plans and just get prepared for what we're going to do for the first couple of weeks of the season and just, uh, be able to have as many ice sessions as we can and workouts and team building activities to, to get the kids really uh, to bring them together a little bit more and allow us coaching staff to get to know them away from the rink too. Definitely. And this might be a premature question or too early to ask, but you know, as you kind of come together as a coaching staff, there's typically a message or a goal that you want to convey to your group heading into the season. Have you guys decided what, you think that's going to be yet or any main goals that you have for this upcoming year? I think, uh, I mean, goals or messages that we have is just to continue to build like a winning culture. Des Moines has had a, been a historic organization for I think 42 years now or 43. So it's been uh, a very up and down like career for the Buccaneers, but I guess just to bring back that winning culture and that winning attitude around the rink every day and around the city and, uh, we play in one of the oldest rinks in the league and it's just really fun when you get a lot of fans in here and the people of Des Moines really uh, get rallied behind the team a lot. So I think just uh, be good in the community, be good on the ice, and that will really bring everyone together, a team and coaching aspect. And speaking of the rink, last time I checked, it said that you guys are still on track to open up in your new rink in the 2023-24 season. So that would make this your final season playing in your current barn what are kind of the emotions with that? Oh, I think there's a lot of emotions for sure. I know that the fans and the season ticket holders who have been here for so long are really uh, excited, but it's sad at the same point to be able to move into a new rink and leave Buccaneer Arena when it's been here for, I think it's been here for about 60 years. And this is the place where I grew up playing hockey. So it's pretty cool to be able to spend uh, the final year coaching in this rink and hopefully uh, have a good season and move on to the next rink with uh some high praise and some a good culture absolutely and another question maybe going in a little bit deeper but on a personal note you going from the playing side 
to the coaching side of things. What has that transition been like for you and how has it been? Uh, it's been interesting, but very easy, honestly, being around our head coach, Matt Curley. He's made a, a transition very uh, simple for me and, and allowed me to kind of uh, still bring like my playing attitude and, and that drive that I have to playing to the coaching side, which has been really fun to be able to uh, just kind of put everything I have on the table and listen to any any tips or ideas or tops of conversation that I have. And so and just from personal side, being able to learn from a guy who's been around the game and a former player and moved to the coaching side. It's really nice to uh, to learn the tricks of the trade for sure and be able to uh, get in a uh, dive boat with both feet in instead of being tentative. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Absolutely. Well, Garrett, before I let you go here, I kind of want to open the floor up to you. If there's anything that I didn't ask about this upcoming team or season that you want to add in or just kind of any final thoughts. No, no, I think you, we kind of cover the bases and I'm, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm really excited about all the guys that we have coming in returners and new guys and good mix of old and young. And uh, just really looking forward to uh, obviously getting back on the ice and starting the season off uh, with the bang. Absolutely. Well, Garrett, thank you so much for your time and best of luck this upcoming season. Yes. Thank you as well so much. It was uh, great to meet you.